Terry Moran, who covers the Supreme Court for ABC. David mentioned those stays issued on this executive order. What, what does that mean? Well, it's a timeout, Martha. Right now, uh, the courts, three courts have said, three judges have said that the people who are appealing for relief from this executive order, people trying to get into this country who've been stopped, they've got a good enough case to take a close look at. Doesn't mean they're going to win, but it, it, the judges say if they, if they don't take the case and they're turned around, they'll suffer irreparable harm. Now they take a hard look at the law, and the law, much of it, is on President Trump's side. The Constitution, many laws of Congress, many precedents of the Supreme Court, all give sweeping powers to any president to decide who does or doesn't get to come into our country. Now, uh, Congress has passed a couple of laws saying you can't discriminate against people on the basis of national origin. But they've also passed a law saying any time a president determines that uh, a group of people uh, is detrimental to the interests of the United States, he or she, any president, can suspend their permission to let those people into the country. So the bottom line here is, while President Trump is testing the limits of presidential power, uh, when, when the cases are close, the tie almost always goes to the president. But, Terry, no major terror attacks have been carried out on U.S. soil by people from any of those countries, those seven countries. So why is that a national security risk? Well, that's an argument, and it may be a very good political argument, a good argument to have with some of your guests today. But judges sit in courthouses, and they defer all the time. They let the president decide matters of national security. They say, we don't get the intelligence. We aren't talking to the generals. We don't have diplomats all over the world. And so you do, unless you've done something really outrageous, courts will generally let the president decide what is in the national security interest of the United States. Now, that said, President Trump is testing the waters here. One, he has a religious uh, qualification there. He says that members of religious minorities in these countries uh, will uh, get special treatment. Uh, and he's gone on television and said that means Christians. Well, that's probably unconstitutional under the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment. You can't choose on the basis of what religion a person is, how you're going to enforce the law against them. And then many people who have already established lawful, permanent residence in the United States, the United States government has given them the permission to stay, to be in this country. They may uh, get caught up in this law. And uh, the courts may not like this executive order stripping those people who are already lawful, permanent residents in the United States of their rights. Thanks very much, Terry.